Well, Chief Meteorologist Mark Nelson is back, and he's actually got a look at that storm, yeah. not something we get, but... This is Alberto, and, and number one question, why don't we get hurricanes on the West Coast? Uh -huh. As we know, they can get very close to Southern California, yeah. but we have cold ocean water. You right. need 80 degree water or warmer to survive. Riel, have you taken a swim in the, our Pacific Ocean like you can at Beach or Seaside? Never, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, that <laughs> I was cannot do that. That was a past. I was asking, asking if you have in the past, but I see you covered the future as well. Yes. You will not be and getting I don't think ocean. I ever will. Yeah, it's like 50, 55 <laughs> degrees. Yeah. All right, so tropical storm by Berto. It's very weak, 40 mile per hour winds. It's actually not even over the USA. It's actually well down in uh, approaching the Mexican coastline. The forecast track takes it well south of Brownsville, Texas. So just some rain and uh, high tides and, uh, yeah, just you know, kind of snotty weather, I suppose, in southern Texas. All right, dog walk forecast. Meanwhile, let's talk about the happy stuff. This is Savi. Uh, wait, isn't this Camilla's dog? I think it is. Yeah, it is, because Johnny, husband. Okay, there we go. So there's Savi, and uh, just enjoying the grass. A perfect day. Nice evening for getting outside. 80s, and then we fall into the 70s. Uh, we told you we, were, we didn't have a heat wave on the way. Tomorrow's going to be a little bit warmer, but not dramatically warmer, like 2 or 3 degrees. Tomorrow's going to feel about the same, although it'll start a little bit warmer. Now, notice the thin high clouds moving overhead. Uh, 53 degrees out there at uh, Chinook Winds Beach Cam. That northwest wind gust into 31 is so much cooler at the beaches because the air is coming off that cold um, cold ocean, basically. Nature's air conditioning, it's moving over a cold surface. Like if you were to make that air conditioner where it blows over the ice, kind of like that. Around 60 down at Newport, northwest wind 14. So next seven days, here's the plan. Temperature-wise, I think we'll bump up to right around 90. We've been saying we'd be within a degree or two of 90. Thursday and Friday, we back it off a few degrees. Saturday is more like today. And then a big drop on Sunday because we get a big push of ocean air. Could there be drizzle this morning? Maybe. A little warmer, then a little cooler. The point is, uh, nothing here is too uh, shocking, I suppose. Look at the records this time of the year, 95 to 100 degrees. It can get very hot in the middle of June. Okay, so tonight, temperature's a little warmer. Everybody stays in the 50s west of the Cascades, except some spots along the coastline. Here in the city, we're going to stay closer to 60, and we'll have 40s east of the Cascades. Now, the high clouds overhead, they will still be there tomorrow morning, but in the afternoon, they do clear out. And in the morning, we actually have a light easterly breeze again through the gorge. That happened today. It'll happen again tomorrow. That helps warm us up. But by the time we get to a Friday afternoon, that onshore flow is starting to strengthen. And that tells me Saturday is going to be a bit cooler along with some high clouds. That's Saturday midday. And low clouds will follow and push inland coming up Sunday morning. So let's do the forecast then for Portland. All sunshine tomorrow. Some thin high clouds in the morning. Warming quickly. I think tomorrow will already be around 80 at noon. And then we should top out right around 90. So pretty toasty, briefly hot in the afternoon for sure. Same thing, briefly hot Friday afternoon. Not as warm on Saturday, although still plenty warm. Uh, at least we're not getting a heat wave. We're not going to see a bunch of 90, so that's good. And temperatures start to cool on Saturday, and that leads us into that much cooler day Sunday with a lot of cloud cover. Then the low clouds back off. The ocean air recedes a bit. Temperatures back closer to average uh, Monday, Tuesday. And then there are hints that just beyond Wednesday, we could go into a showery pattern for a few days. We'll see about that. But uh, we'll talk more about that coming up in the bottom half of the hour, Riel.